Hello and welcome back to Ice of Fire Season 2, Episode 10. We have finally reached Episode 10 and we're doing good so far. And as you can already see, something looks different. The floor looks different than what it did in the last episode. And that is because after the last episode, we actually did a stream a few hours later uh, from the episode going out. Um, and boy, did we do progress. <laughs> Let, uh, let, let me show you how it looks down here. So, first off, there is this. I chased the floor. Um, this Midori stuff is made from cactus, so we will be actually setting up a small manual cactus farm today because I want more of this stuff. Um, as you can see, this hole is now covered. And going down, welcome to the new basement. This area is looking 10 times, no, 100 times better than the previous. So, we have a pattern on the floor here. We have glowstone, which actually fits very well with the sandstone and the jasper. We also have this Midori right here into the wall, looking good, and everything looks nice and depth. And up here we actually have a checker pattern of sandstone slab and cobblestone. As you can probably see as well, I have orientated the, uh, the crusher here in a little bit of a different way here, so it's actually the long way is facing here and yeah, you get the idea. Just so we can actually have better access because in the last episode I said we would be working with this thing and indeed we will. Um, we will be putting an input chest right over here that then leads some conveyor belts out and then dumps it into the crusher. So that is one of the things that we will do other than also putting up a manual cactus farm and maybe, just make sure it's safe, it's semi-safe, Maybe we will also get to uh, make this place for Arox to look a little bit greener. And one of the reasons why I want more cactus is also so I can replace this orange stuff with the Midori um, blocks to be green. I really want that. So I think that is what we will be doing. Actually, um, as you can see, we have 30 levels and we have gathered pretty much enough leather and books and sugar canes uh, to make a f full enchantment station where we can actually get all of the enchanting done all the way up to uh, level 30. So we, in the last, uh, in the stream we did, we also gathered a bunch of sugarcane here and leather so we could actually get this going because I have 37 levels and I would love to use those on this amazing Thurium pickaxe and this amazing chest plate and my trident. So let us make the last, oh by the way, I made a oak drawer from storage drawers where I can dump in my cobblestone because this was getting overcrowded with cobblestone. So cobblestone now have a new place. I probably need to make a new place for the drawers in general, but uh, we will get to that. Firstly, let us get all of these books made. And this is very good. We have some leather uh, left over because we will need that to make some of these conveyor belts, which we will need to transport the items. Uh, down there in the crusher. Now, one issue that I see immediately is that I am pretty much out of wood, so I need to swing out my iron lumber axe and I need to chop down some trees. I want to keep those trees there for now, so I think... Uh, I guess the savannah is going to be the place to go right now. All right, I think this should be enough wood. Now what I want to do is I want to go around and pick up some cactus. I don't want to remove them completely, but I want to harvest them and then set up a little bit of a manual cactus farm near the base so I can actually harvest these guys because, as I said, I really want more of that Midori stuff because I think it looks amazing. All right, 12 should do for now. Just to show, if you go ahead and you smelt the cactus, you actually now get the cactus paste, which you can then either convert it to green dye, or you can turn it into Midoric blocks, which is what I want to do with it. So I think if I just go ahead and do something like this, I think that should be good. Maybe. It doesn't look the greatest, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I've actually relocated them because now there's two space in between, so there's less chance of when I break one that it falls into the other. So I think that should be good. And here we go, 15 bookshelves. Ooh, acacia bookshelf. Do I want acacia bookshelf? Yeah, sure. We can always turn them to something else if I don't. Uh, I think 15 is all I need. So if I place one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. We have 24, and then if I place in the final three, we should get level 30. So that actually fits in perfectly with this right here. And I think I can actually place a torch. Oh, that torch is disabling some of them. Well, glowstone it is. Except that I don't have any glowstone available, so I think this will just have to do until I actually get some glowstone, because I do not want to go into the nether right now. So now I can go ahead and then I can I can enchant the Thai Trident, I can enchant the Thurian Pickaxe, and I want to enchant the Sinicide Chestplate. So I don't I care what enchantments I get, but I'm not gonna go super detail in it. I'm just gonna take what I get. I can convert them later on um, when I have an easy way of getting levels. Uh, I'm breaking three, eh? I'm breaking three on all of it. Well, let's go with the Thurian pickaxe. I'm breaking three. Smelting touch and I'm breaking three. Ooh, that's cool. Actually, I just thought about it. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> because if we get smelting touch, I'm, this is what I'm going to assume what happens. If I just grab a quick, not uranium, uh, let's say copper. Yeah, that's what I thought, that I get a copper ore, a uh, copper ingot, sorry, which is not what I want. I want the actual ore, so that's not great. Um, I'll have to grindstone that. Let, let's see what we get on the tide trend here. I'm bringing three. Very strong trying. Well, that's the description. Uh, on rate three. Okay, you know what? That's that's fine because compared to a diamond sword, it is doing double, pretty much double, the amount of damage. So finally, the bronze sword can go away. Fire protection three. A. Eh? That's not really what I want. I do not want fire protection. Well, what do I? Because dragons. <laughs> I think I'll rather make a grindstone. Grind this pickaxe, get the levels, and then enchant the pickaxe again. Efficiency 4 sounds better. Yeah. Fortune 3 and efficiency 4, that's not unbreaking, so I'll have to grind it again. But you know what? As I said, it's fine. I'm not gonna be super angry at it. It's fine. Um, so what I want to do is I want to have a chest right here. So what I need to make is, first of all, get the conveyors back up. I need this extracting conveyor belt. Um, for that, we need treated wood, which we have, I believe. We need an iron mechanical component, with us, which is iron plates and copper. And then we need strip curtain, which is tough fabric, which we should have everything that we need for that. We need the hammer. I don't think we need this. Uh, and we also need, apparently, some more treated wood. Let's get it all, and let's get crafting. All right, I have everything I need for the extracted conveyor belt, except for the conveyor belt itself. So for that, we will be using our precious, precious leather. Um, let me just double check that it's the conveyor belt. I actually need to craft all the other conveyor belts it is. So I'm just gonna use all of the leather on this because we will definitely need it. All right, so after that, we then go in here and basically got three the wood, uh, right. Uh, wait, bucket. All right, we're performing the rest of the crafting here. Three the wood, which is one extracting conveyor belt, which is exactly what we need. Next, we need... I don't think we need anything else. Dropping, don't need that, don't need splitting. We don't need these with scaffolding. So I think that is really all we need, including the hammer. So let me grab a chest. All right, so I will be placing a chest here because this will be then our input chest. Then what we will do is mark a spot. So we will need a conveyor belt going out there. And right, so the extracting will go here. And then we need to go around and in here. That is where we need to put the conveyor belt. So we need to redirect it up there somehow. Oh, hello there. Uh, so let me do that. All right, here it is. Um, I don't think we'll be able to actually make such a tight turn. I don't know, let's see. I haven't really dealt with these before. So there we go. So if we put anything in here, it will go out here as you can see, which is exactly what we want. Then we will be taking conveyor belts like so. Eh. And then let me do these actually first and then let's see. How this is actually gonna go. Nope, not like that. Give me that back. Place that, place that. 
and place it. This is difficult. Like that. And then I think we can just hit it with the hammer. Um, there is a way to make it go up. Which I'm not sure how. Oh, just like that. Okay. So, like that. And then like that. Oh dear, I'm stuck now. Now I'm stuck. Help. Help me. Help. 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 <laughs> so if we go there. Mm, that might make it. Uh, but it also may not. It also may not. Alright. This is it right here. Um, this should make it all the way back. Uh, come on. Go. You know what? Okay, there we go. Uh, so now if I just put one more here, right? I think if we put, say, an iron ore in, like so, it should make it all the way up and eventually... Yep, perfect. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this wall right here. Doesn't... It's, it's okay, we can see that. That's cool. Uh... Next, we need to move this over, which I think we can just do by doing this. So do that and do that. And I think that should work. Let's actually test it with the iron. I think this thing should be on. I think. Let's find out. Putting the iron ore in. And I should actually stand back so I don't pick up the iron ore. And there it goes. Ah, uh, no. It just, it just gets picked up right at the edge there. I forgot I could use the hammer, so just turn it like that. And I think we should be good, so let's try again. Iron goes into chest, and then it should come out into the crusher. And the crusher processes it into this chest. That is perfect. Awesome. Next, I just want to tidy up this place by uh, putting in some sandstone in place of some of this stuff. And, oh, you can hold down shift and you won't be moved around. Cool. Yeah, I just want to... Eh? Okay, I'm not sure what it just... I think it processed some of the stone. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. You know what? Let's uh, let's turn that off. And yeah, let me let me do this real quick. Yep, that's how stone <laughs> turned into gravel. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna do it. It is covered with sandstone there, and that should be that done. So that is really really cool. Um, except that this chest looks awful. I want a better one. So that was that. Really really cool. Very happy that that is now done because now we can pretty much move all these ores down into that um, into that what's it called uh, chest. Which you know what we might as well do. We might as well do. Uh, issue is actually no, not yet. All right, we will actually moving the ores down because I have just discovered something pretty cool. You can actually control that extracting conveyor belt with a redstone signal. So I have a lever here turned on, and as you can see, the ores does not uh, get pulled in. So that is really, really cool. Now I want maybe a little bit of a chest somewhere else uh, holding the ores until they're ready to be processed, because maybe some of them I don't want to process, like uranium, even though I can't get the... Um, uranium and whatnot, but it's just an example in case I don't want to process something. So I think I want to add a chest here, and then I'm going to organize it just a little bit. All right, so I have moved this into a double chest. Hopefully this, uh, it will still work with the extractor because one chest is technically over here. We'll see. And that I have also made a double chest for these things over here. And this chest is just for stuff that I may not want to uh, pulverize yet. And I don't know what I want to do with the uranium yet, so we'll leave that there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I could technically just turn this on, and yes, it is indeed working. And as you can see, the gold is being pulled out. The machine is being turned on, and there goes all the gold. Pretty cool. 
and we can pretty much pulverize all the gold and I'm gonna stop the extractor uh, right when it has finished all the gold. So wait for it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Perfect. Now it's going to pulverize all the gold and give it to us right here. Awesome. Now we have a problem with this oven right here. We have this to make creosote oil. And because there's this much creosote oil in here, I can't actually move this. I want to move it one over to the right, but I actually can't. Um, so I think for now we will just have to live with it until I actually get to make the tank that can actually hold the creosote oil instead of inside this oven. So I am gonna build the, um, the blast furnace here again because we do really need that to make, what's it called, uh, steel. And I don't remember how to make this. Just like that. Okay, cool. So just so we can get that back going because we really need more steel to continue. We just crushed over a stack of gold and we actually still have quite a bit of power left. Um, so that's really, really good. Does it look like we need to worry about power sources anytime soon? I think the wind will, will be able to, um, to, to keep us going for quite a while as soon as, as long as we don't use power 24 seven, which we don't at this point in time. Um, I seem to forget. I think there was something else I wanted to do before fixing the place at Aerox as well. All right, I want to make this place look greener for Aerox here. I want this to be grass and I want it to be connected up here, having some water coming out right here. I want some water coming out somehow here, flowing down here, I think, and then connecting up to the stream uh, over there. But I actually want it to be connecting and going through his fence here. So he has some water like this, then going over connecting to the place here. I think that would be perfect. I don't want it to be too square. So I think literally here will do. I think that should be pretty good. If I then just take my water bucket and uh, spread it across. <laughs> so if I place it in the water here and then get the dirt in a moment. I think something like this. Yeah, I think I like that. He has a little bit of water he can drink from, etc. And then it loops back around down here. Especially when this then starts getting turned into grass. So, I have four dirt to my name. Which is pretty much only gonna do that. <laughs> so, I need to go somewhere where there is dirt. Over there could be good. We can start making a dirt digging hole. And then placing it down over here. So I guess a short time left of getting dirt and also placing it? Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's do it.
And there we go. This entire part right here has been con converted into dirt. Now, of course, it has not been taken all the way up here, but maybe we will in the future. As I've said before, that's a very random block of clay. <laughs> but as I've been said before, I really want to terraform this whole place. And so far, the grass is already spreading. So I'm really excited to see this when grass actually makes it over to um, Arox's place here. Let me grab that sand real quick. Now, one thing that I really want to do really quickly before we wrap up, wrap, blah, blah, wrap up this episode is harvest now, harvest the cactus here. Because if I could get just one of the towers, like fully, what's it called? Midori, Midori-fied, then, <laughs> then um, instead of that orange stuff there, then that would be pretty cool. I really should make this into an automated cactus farm. Maybe we will in the next episode. That would be a bad idea, actually. That might not be a bad idea. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure what we will be doing in the next episode as of saying this sentence. But I probably will before ending the video. Alright, I have 28 Midori and according to my calculations, this should be enough to completely remove the orange from at least these two surfaces facing outwards. And I think that this place is really going to look a lot better with this stuff on the outside instead of the orange. I like that. I actually like that. <laughs> I actually like that. So if we remove the orange from over here as well, and then the two that are on top of there, we can always do. It. I need to figure out what to do with these uh, with these towers eventually. Uh, but for right now, adding this right here, give me that. Boing. Yeah, I like that. I actually really like that. And then remove these two, and place in this instead. Give me that. Yeah. It's my pyramid now, <laughs> and it even fits well with the immersive generic stuff. So that is really, really cool. I don't have quite enough to fix uh, fix it on this side and the other sides, but I'll probably do that off camera. If not, we'll do it in the next episode. Speaking of next episode, uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do. I don't. I want to do more immersive engineering, but I want a little bit of a break from that because I don't want uh, I don't want it to be only the only thing that we do. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we'll start looking into Botania, which is a mod in this pack. So I think that might be something that we do. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments uh, if Botania is something we should look into, because I think we might. I think we're going to look into Botania, because you can make some really cool uh, stuff with this mod. This mod has a lot of stuff, and I kind of want to get into it, because I've never played before. So I feel like I want to do that, and then potentially we'll make a uh, start off making a very small automated cactus farm because I want more of these blocks. So, yeah, I think that's a plan. I think that's a plan until I completely change my mind. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't think I will. I just realized that I have three stacks and forty-five more dirt in here. So. That's good. We have a lot of dirt now uh, to our name. But yes, guys, I'm going to call this episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed. We finished the conveyor system. We converted a bunch of land into dirt. Maybe we'll convert even more of it uh, in the next episode because we have so much dirt. That would fit well with actually starting Botania. So I think that is a plan and making a small uh, cactus farm as well. So with that said, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. And yeah, have a wonderful day and goodbye. Con te la nave ruta es